In its design sale of last week, Sotheby's offered an example of the Proust chair, a milestone in the narrative of Italian design which was created by architect Alessandro Mendini. When Mendini first introduced the chair in 1978, it was a daring example of a combination between impressionist art and design. It was hailed as sensational, brilliant and unconventional. Its heyday lasted nearly a decade, with its rich colors, intricate carving, rich ornamentations and hand craftsmanship, this icon of Italian postmodernism was based on the most traditional 18th century chair that everyone knows. But in addition to serving as a chair, the Proust came to tell a story and to celebrate the life of French novelist Marcel Proust. Inspired by visiting the places of Proust's origins, Mendini sought to create a chair for the men who authors in search of lost time, the masterpiece considered the greatest novel of modern times. It had to be based on Proust's visual and material world, his desires, memories, sensations, and experiences, including the 19th century Impressionist movement, which was in its prominence when Proust was growing up in Paris. The chair was produced by Studio Alchemia, the design collective which was launched in Milan two years earlier, producing whimsical objects in a new lexicon of shapes and colors. Mendini was a partner in this venture which proposed alternatives to the aesthetics of the modern movement in the form of new shapes and colors, formulating new directions in judging taste. Design to them was much more than just a tool of industry. It was personal, conceptual, and acted as a storyteller and a cultural maker. The purse was constructed of unfinished wood upholstered with white canvas, which were then decorated by hand using acrylic paints. It was first shown in the installation by Studio Alchemia and was then included in the first Alchemia Bauhaus catalog. While the chairs were never numbered, about 20 of them were created by Alchemia until 1987. Today, they can be found in such collections as the Vitra Design Museum and the Museum of Applied Arts in Ghent, Belgium. With a new interest in postmodernism, the Proust is still being crafted at the Mendini studio. Today, each is signed and authenticated by a certificate. Since 1994, Capellini has produced versions of the Proust chair made with a printed cotton fabric. It has also been seen in ceramics, in plastic laminate, in mosaics, and recently in marble. I like the Proust chair. I think it's one of the most exciting objects produced in the 20th century.